اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Here's process macro model 1. In the last session we focused on the introduction of Haze process macro, how to download it, how to install it in SPSS. And we did have a look at different models that can be analyzed using Haze process macro. Now you can have a different models with mediators and moderators and analyze them using Haze process macro. Now in this session I'm going to focus on the model 1 the very basic model with one IV, one DV and one continuous moderator. Now the moderator could be categorical as well and we are going to look into this as well later. Let's introduce the model. Now in all models you have one primary IV and one DV with multiple mediators and moderators. Your primary IV that is your variable X is assumed to be continuous or dichotomous. Moderators can be continuous and they can be categorical or dichotomous as well. Your mediators are assumed to be continuous and your DV can be continuous as well as binary. Now we are going to look into other models as well as we go along. Model 1. Now here is your model 1 where x is your independent variable, y is your dependent variable and w is your moderator as it is pointing towards the relationship. So what does a moderator do? It either strengthens or weakens an existing relationship. Now this is the statistical diagram where you create the interaction term between your IV and your moderator and look at its impact on your DV and if your interaction is significant then there is moderation that is further probed as well. Now here your X is IV, Y is DV, W is your moderator and model 1 assumes that your primary IV that is your X is continuous but obviously they, it can be dichotomous as well. We are going to look into that model later but for now we are assuming it to be continuous. Your moderator obviously continuous for this example it can be dichotomous as well. Now how do we run process macro and do our moderation analysis for model 1? Let's go to SPSS and here is my data. In order to run this, I'm going to go to Analyze, Regression, Process, version 4.0 by Andrew Hayes. And my Y variable, that is my dependent variable, is Organizational Performance. My independent variable is Collaborative Culture. My moderator here is Role Ambiguity, so this will go here. I'm interested in Model 1. Let's do 5000 bootstrap samples and here are different options. For now, let's go to options. Let's generate code for visualizing interactions. And we've got two options here. All variables that define products are centered, that is mean centered, including the continuous and dichotomous variables. Only continuous variables that define products are centered. Now there is a debate whether you should mean center your dichotomous variables or not. Well. Let's go and mean center all our variables. Although there is a debate that it should be done or it should not be done for now, we are going to use all variables that define products. From conditioning values, I'm going to select this option. That is your moderator at lower level, at higher level or at mean level. Now we are going to select a Johnson name and output as well and I'm going to tell you what it means later. Now that we have selected all our options, you can have different decimal points. Normally it's four, so we are going to keep this. And let's run it, continue, okay. Now it might take some time because it's a bootstrapping procedure and it's going to use your processor. Now here is your output, here is it, it is the total output. Now first it obviously introduces your process macro who developed it and Ryu Hayes and then your model that is model 1 where y is your dependent variable op, x is your independent variable culture, w is your moderator ra, the sample size is 341. This is your model, this is each of these 
independent variable and your moderator and the interaction is your interaction significant yes it's significant so there is a moderating effect now I'm, i've got this output all of this here in my presentation where i'm going to describe all this output in greater detail let's go to my presentation here now that you have run the model the next step is obviously we have selected all the options Moving on. Now the first thing that you see is obviously a brief description of your data and we are interested in this overall model summary first. Now look at this R square. So 36.41% change in organizational performance is being accounted by these three exogenous variables in this case, culture, RA and your interaction term. I'm interested in the impact of this interaction term here, whether or not RA or role ambiguity moderates the relationship between culture and organizational performance because culture is your IV, organizational performance is your DV and your moderating variable is role ambiguity. Now, In order to assess the moderating relationship or whether or not RA moderates the relationship, I created or rather the process macro created an interaction term. Is this interaction significant? Look at this p-value. Yes, it is significant. This is less than 0.05. Is there a zero in between the lower level confidence interval and upper level confidence interval? There is no zero in between. This means that your interaction term is significant. This means RA does moderate the relationship. And how does it moderate the relationship? It negatively moderates the relationship. That is the relationship between culture and organizational performance is weakened by this role ambiguity or the higher the role ambiguity, the weaker is the relationship between culture and organizational performance because there is a negative sign with the interaction. Now this model summary will provide you with R, that is your correlation, R square, the p-value, that is the overall impact of these three variables on the endogenous variable. The next is, that is what you normally see as coefficients in your regression. Here we are interested in interaction. Now what is this? Test of highest order unconditional interaction. Now I think it's something is getting hidden here. So I'm just going to move it here, move it here and look at this, this here, R square change. So with the interaction, is there a significant R square change? Yes, the interaction is significantly impacting the endogenous variable and the interaction or the R square change with the interaction is significant. So your interaction effect is significant as was shown by this part here. Next is a johnson neyman intervals and simple slope analysis. Now what does this tell us? Now look at this conditional effects of the focal predictor at the values of the moderator. Now at the low level of the moderator, look at this effect size of your predictor that is your culture on your dependent variable. This is high. Now as your role ambiguity increases that is positive then your effect size decreases at average level of role ambiguity there is a positive impact of culture on organizational performance this effect increases when your role ambiguity is low however this effect of culture on organizational performance decreases when your role ambiguity is high why because there is a positive sign here this means higher role ambiguity at plus one standard deviation and this is lower role ambiguity. Are these effects significant at low and high level? Yes, these effects are significant and again there is no zero in between here. Now what is this? Johnson-Neyman interval tells you the range of values of the moderator in which the slope of the predictor is significant versus non-significant at a specified alpha level. Now if you keep on decreasing your role ambiguity and then you suddenly start increasing your role ambiguity. There is a level till where your impact of culture on organizational performance will be significant. Now what is that level? Look at this here. 2.9281. Here it is. Look at this. 0 0.05. So if you increase your role ambiguity to 2.9281, your effect of in independent variable that is culture on organizational performance will be moderated however if you further increase it if you further increase your role ambiguity to 3.1402 the effect 
is not moderated now. It is insignificant. So there is a certain level up to which your moderator will have a moderating effect. And what is that value? What is that value for RA? The value is here. 2.9281. So this is the value of role ambiguity till which your effect of culture on organizational performance is moderated by the role ambiguity. In simple terms, Johnson Neyman identifies regions in the range of the moderator variable where the effect of the focal predictor that is culture on the outcome that is organizational performance is statistically significant and non not significant. So your impact of culture on organizational performance is moderated till your role ambiguity is up until this level here. If you further increase it, sorry, this one here, 2.9281. If you further increase it after 2.92, the effect of culture on organizational performance is no longer moderated. Data visualization, obviously, when your interaction term is significant, we need to visualize our data. Now, there are two ways to do it. The first method is obviously you can use the output by Andrew of Hayes process macro. Just copy this text and run the syntax from file, new syntax, and you will have your output. How to do this? And you will have this output. So how to do this? Let's go back. Let's go back here. And here it is. Double click on it. So once you double click on it, you can select this text here. Just right click, copy, go to file, new syntax, and just paste it here. You can select it and it will give you a graph. Here is your graph, although it's not that easier to interpret. So what I normally do is I prefer the graph by the stats tool package by James Gaskin. Here it is. So the link will be shared in the description. You can obviously have uh, the one by Jeremy Dawson as well. Both work same. So you can have your independent variable, your moderator, your dependent variable, and then the coefficients. Where are these coefficients? Let's get back here. Let's look at this here. Here it is. So culture on organizational performance 0 0.502. Here it is 0 0.502. Let's mention. What's the impact of moderator? The moderator is minus 0 0.200 minus 0 0.200. And what's the interaction? The interaction is minus 0 0.094 minus 0.094 here it is now this is your graph so at low role ambiguity we can see that this relationship is much or the gradient is much steeper so at low role ambiguity the impact of collaborative culture on organizational performance is much stronger even at high role ambiguity the gradient is less steeper in comparison to the blue line so the effect of collaborative culture on organizational performance is much stronger at low role ambiguity and we can say role ambiguity dampens the positive relationship between CC and OP because it's a negative relationship as you move towards higher role ambiguity the relationship between the two is weakened now if we go here the study assessed the moderating role of role ambiguity on the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance now this graph here is a bit difficult to understand so that's why I prefer these graphs. Now it, it's the same thing. Look at this line here, these dots. If you connect these dots here, these three, at lower role ambiguity and this one here at higher role ambiguity. Now at lower role ambiguity, it's much steeper. And at higher role ambiguity, it's, the, it's, it's much flatter. So the results revealed a negative and significant moderating effect of role ambiguity. That is a negative effect supporting your h1 so your h1 is supported that is there is a moderating role of role ambiguity now results of the slope analysis conducted to better understand the nature of moderating effects and they show as shown in the figure the line is much steeper for low role ambiguity this shows that at low level of role ambiguity the impact of collaborative culture on organizational performance is much stronger in comparison to high role ambiguity as shown in this particular figure.
the strength of relationship between CC and OP decreases when you've got high role ambiguity. And if you've got low role ambiguity, the strength increases considerably. Now with the change in role ambiguity, the relationship between the collaborative culture and organizational performance changes. Now this is how you can analyze a very simple model using his process macro with one IV, one DV and one simple continuous moderator. Finally, it gives you a brief analysis notes and errors and your W values in the conditional tables are mean centered and the level of confidence and all. Thank you very much.